Hello and welcome. I'm going to talk you through a stack card for Watergate the Third Law. So I've got the stack card here for the Marines, which is one of the uh, standard units you might carry if you are using the Align Core. So let's just have a little walk through it. Um, up in the uh, the top left here, we have got the number of models that uh, you get in this unit. So you're going to get three Marines in, in this unit. So you get three models onto the battlefield. And over in the top right here, we've got the points cost. So we pay five points um, and we're going to get three Marines. It's about 12 points as a standard, standard game. So reasonably expensive unit. Um, we've got the title up here, Marines, tells us who they are. We've got their keywords, so their infantry. So... Keywords don't generally do anything in and of themselves, but other rules may refer to those keywords. So there might be certain abilities um, or orders or things that, that can only target certain keywords or will trigger off if you've got certain keywords. And we've got the special rules, which for the Marines here is none. So you might have stealth or ability to advance, which lets you kind of um, deploy a bit further in, but there's no special rules for uh, basic Marines. We've got our movement here, five inches, which tells us how far they move when they make a basic move. Um, so yeah, five inches in the case of the Marines. We've got their endurance of five, which basically says each individual model, once it's um, taken five wounds, will be destroyed. Um, so that means because you've got three models, essentially there's like 15 wounds total to wipe out the, the whole unit. Um, but the wounds are allocated individually. So you can take up to five wounds each. They've got endurance of five. Um, we've then got their offense and defensive stats here. So the offense stat, you can see with this little kind of blast symbol, um, tells us what combination of uh, war die, elite die, and tech die. Um, you'll see little white cubes representing the war die, red die um, representing the elite die, and uh, blue cubes representing the tech die. So in this case, um, it's three, three war die. So... A single marine um, gets three water, which means if we've got three of them and they're all able to contribute to an attack, that's going to be nine war dice bringing, which is quite a lot. Um, and But in defense, they've just got the one war die. Um, so just one kind of basic defense available for them. Uh, we've got the unit portrait uh, in the middle here. So no mechanical effect, but it might be a bit of inspiration for what model you want to pick and use for this. As War Trigger is a modern agnostic game, you can use whatever you want. Um, we've got the faction symbol here. So this just tells us that this card um, belongs to the Align Core faction. So when you're building your when you're building your list, um, you're going to pick a faction, and you'll be able to pick uh, models from that faction. So you just want to be looking for the faction symbol. Underneath here, we've got a base size and a height. So the base size here, 30 millimeters, that tells us that each of those individual models um, in, in the Marines unit need to be on a 30 millimeter base. Um, it, it's not a huge problem if it's like a 28 mil base or it's a 32 mil base, um, but the game is balanced around um, the models being on the base sizes as listed here. Um, but talk amongst your friends in your local group. If you've got some models that are on 32 mil bases that you you want to use for this it's it's not going to make the game like completely not function or anything um the also next to this you've got a height here so it's one and a half inches so it's good practice um for your models to be kind of roughly close to that height it just makes it a little bit easier to see what's happening but if they deviate from that it doesn't really matter um it's just that if there was something where you want to check whether a model could you know maybe see over some terrain or something it's the height on the card you would use to check that if it's if it's not quite clear from the model and then we've got their weapons down here. So we've got, um, in the top slot here, we've got their uh, ranged weapon, the uh, battle rifle. So you can see we've got the range, so minimum range of zero up to 12 inches. The damage, um, which is always represented as this kind of two numbers separated by a slash. So the first number is how much damage they do on a normal hit. The second number is how much damage they do on a critical hit. So on the Marines here, normal hit does one damage, critical hit does two damage. We've got the weapon class here, so we've got this little reticule telling us that it's a ranged weapon. And then we've got the special rules for the weapon. So in this case, the battle rifle has the burst one special rule, which just means in this case, as long as one hit gets through, um, they'll do an additional hit. So with the nine war day, they're potentially sending nine hits into a target, and with burst one, that might go to 10 hits. Then underneath that, we've got um, the we've got the type of weapon, which is uh, the battle rifle is a kinetic weapon. Um, most of the time, the type 
uh, doesn't have an effect, but again, there can be certain other rules that may interact with if a damage is kinetic or if a weapon's kinetic, it could have a certain effect. The Lee weapon here, we've got the combat knife. So the range here, B2B means base to base. So um, you have to be in base contact with your target. Damage, again, one slash two, so one damage normally, two on a crit. Class of weapon, we've got this little kind of fist and an explosion here. That's telling us that it's a melee weapon. Um, and then there are no special rules for the combat knife. And the type of damage is slashing, so it's a slashing weapon. Um, and that's the, the whole of the front of the card. So if we turn the stat card over, we've got some bits on the back here. So at the top, we've got their unique trigger. Um, so every unit in War Trigger has a unique trigger. Um, unique triggers have this little kind of snowflake symbol that gets used um, from, that comes from Elite Die. Uh, so if they use an elite die in combat and it makes it through to the end of the symbol cancellation, sometimes it could be before, unique triggers can work a little bit differently to normal symbols, and you'll get whatever this, this effect is. And generally, the more of them they have, the, the better. So in the Marines' case, Banquet of Rations. Uh, so for each unique symbol scored after symbol cancellation, remove up to one wound from this unit. So if you have um, a couple of these elite die unique symbols set you're going to heal some wounds before the rest of that combat gets resolved which might be might be useful if you got attacked whilst you were injured now you might be asking if they've got three war die each and then you've maybe got nine war die i've got all of these war die but i don't have any of the elite die that i need to be able to trigger that but during combat um at, at the step before you set the dice you can choose to exchange up to three uh, war die for one uh, elite die and you can keep doing that so potentially if all three marines were attacking a target and you had nine war die you could turn it into three war die and two elite die or three elite die or one more i'm sure you can do the maths but yeah so you, you do have the option to be able to get access to that unique trigger but that's totally unique to the marines no one else has banquet of rations and every unit in war trigger will have a unique um, trigger like that You've then got their war trigger on the double, um, and the majority of models in a single faction will have the same uh, war trigger, so most of the aligned core models have on the double. The rules for that are in the core rule book, but basically what on the double does is it means if they get, uh, for each hit symbol they get through, regardless of whether they're doing damage or not with those um, symbols, because remember if you're um, issuing an order that um, doesn't have an attack, you can still put your um, hit symbols in in order to trigger your war trigger. Um, and this just lets you um, move the Marines a number of inches based on the amount of these symbols to get through. So they can be very mobile, you know, they can um, uh, attack and then after they've attacked, they can, you know, maybe move a couple of inches if they've got some of these, these through. Um, and then you've got your standing orders. So most of the time in War Trigger, when you're issuing orders to your models, you're going to be doing that with cards from your hand and using either the faction generic orders, the basic orders, or the specific orders that are on those cards. But typically, most models will also have the standing orders built in the card that you can you can use. So usually it's an action and a reaction, and that's the case here for the Marines. So their um, standing order, action, advance, and fire allows them to make a basic move and then make an attack with the range weapon, which is their, their battle rifle. So they can move and attack. That's that's quite a nice ability to have. It just means that even if you don't have the cards in hand for moving or attacking, you can generally do both of them. You just need to be able to discard a card to issue a standing order. Um, and then they've got this reaction drop prone. So when they're attacked by an enemy using a ranged weapon, they can gain some additional war die in defense, which if you remember, they've only got one war die in defense normally. So that can be quite useful for them to react and drop prone if you don't have a better reaction card in hand potentially. But that's it. That's a, that's the anatomy of a unit card. And all of the unit cards are laid out in basically the same way. So you kind of know where you need to look for... Um, you know, what their endurance is, what their move is, their offense or defense, the points cost, what weapons they've got, whatever the unique trigger is for that particular unit and what their standing orders are. And that's the anatomy of a stat card.